We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be first to start at the 12-yard line. Play fake, Murray. He'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A good pick up there, 22. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. Over the middle here to Wilson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Now Murray throwing on second down. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 37. A gain there of 21 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Murray to throw on third and one. Into the hands of his tight end, Jeff Swain. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. On first and ten, here's Murray. That's complete to McBride. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. From the gun, Murray. And he's going to be taken down. Sack back around the 18-yard line. That last sack puts Murray in the cards in a tough spot. Third and one. And drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Connor is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Murray now. He'll buy some time right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Prater for the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. This is Smith. 
And that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Throwing his hurts. And this one is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Their boy down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That is caught. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Four yards the pick up, first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Well, when you're facing a receiver like this, you always come into a game thinking, we've got to put our best corner on him. We've got to find a way to get him off his route, limit his touches. But that plan, not working too well on this opening drive. That's already two catches for him. And this one, good for a first down. Fighting his way through contact. He's still on his feet. Touchdown! Devontae Smith, 40 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. That's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play, and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. Long sustained drive by the offense. Elliott good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. The drive will start with Connor. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Right back to Connor here on first. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Now second and nine. Here's Murray. Throw left side complete. That's Connor. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Murray going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And that 
that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Now a draw play. This is Connor. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 11 yards there, just like last play. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Flushed out right. Touchdown, Cardinals! Tyler Murray fighting Marquise Brown. And the Cardinals will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point good by Prater, and that makes the score 14 to 7. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. And yeah, this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made at about the 38. First down now, but that clock rolling. Once again, it's Swift. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Second down and three. Hurts. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second and nine. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And God's got it! Touchdown, Eagles! A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Elliott good on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Screen pass to Connor. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Second down, Connor looking for space. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Great, 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 set. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 51 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward to get the first down. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, they spot it right at midfield at the 50. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. He'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. He'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Out, out, out. Hey, easy, 
Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that will be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They'll look to throw here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. They start the drive with Connor. And he is going to lose yardage here. Great stop by Darius Slay to back up the offense. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now Murray. His throw incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Murray a give. This is Connor down to the 42, second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete there to Moore. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Murray getting this complete to counter. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw is Murray. And this is going to be intercepted. Keely Ringo picks it off. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners they end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And part of the tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And they're going to speed things up here. 
Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Open that is Goddard, the tight end. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Here's a handoff to Swift. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. A gain of five brings up second and five. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Here comes second down at five. On the end around, here comes Smith. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Devontae Smith. His second touchdown tonight. And the Eagles have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit of time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced a two-minute drill for. Right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you have it, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Murray. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Murray to throw. Gets this to Moore, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Murray. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. To throw is Murray. That's pulled in by Wilson. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. Back to throw. Going right back to Wilson. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Now Murray. It's complete to Brown, right side. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the... And yes, he's into the end zone! So they get the late score they needed, and now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick.
Here comes the return from the very back of the end zone. A dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he's going to take it all the way into the end zone. What a return. And they've taken the lead. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead. And also, Charles didn't leave their opposition with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use. That is intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will. His head play backfires in a big way. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Murray changing the play. He's back to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Probably time for two more shots and ideally they like to get the midfielder set so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. He'll look to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Well, that put... Back in jail with Nobel at 19. Up the road with the life is at 20. Made my first 100,000 at 23. Now who is he or who is she to speak on my name? 